Good morning! I wanted to show you guys my favorite breakfast. Like, I want this every morning now because it's so good. This yummy, delicious toast. So I got this sourdough bread. I got a whole like loaf for a dollar because it was on one of those sale racks. But you toast some sourdough bread, scramble some eggs, slice up some tomatoes and cook it on the pan for a little bit. Avocados and salt and pepper. And I like to add a little bit of a kick. So I also sprinkle a little bit of Tabasco yeah. and it is so good. Cheers. So good. We came out to check the mail and the sun it's feels it's amazing. Hot. It's like hot. And she loves coming out so she can step on dry leaves and play with the grass. You want some dry leaves? Here you go. <laughs> can you blow it? I feel like in the past, I never really took advantage of how like warm it could be in the fall. Especially, especially this year, I feel like it's been warm longer than anybody's expected it to be. But I feel like I have taken full advantage of nice weather this fall. So come winter, even though it's cold and can be a little depressing, I don't, I won't regret not taking advantage of this nice weather when we have it because we have been taking advantage of it, huh? <laughs> I just checked the last couple clips I took outside. Holy, my camera, that was my phone camera and it like enhances the colors like crazy. It looks fake. Anyway, I was this close to telling Justin, can we just go out and buy something to eat? I just didn't want to cook. But going on that walk actually gave me some kind of motivation to just cook and so tonight we're having spaghetti squash pasta I made it before once and it's good but carbs are even better like regular pasta tastes better but this is a healthier option so that's what we're having spaghetti squash with mm, marinara sauce or marinara <laughs> So this morning, Lee and I went to the library again and we went to the museum with Sarah and Peter. I thought for sure Leah would take at least an hour nap. She still took a 30 minute nap, a short 30 minute nap. It's like I feel tired, I feel like I need a nap. But this little energizer bunny she you can never tell when she's tired but when she is she will knock out in like 10 seconds so hopefully that's what happens huh. <laughs> so you cut it in half scoop out the seeds drizzle some olive oil and put some salt and pepper in it I put the oven at 400 and I'll bake it in there for about 40 minutes Do you hear her screaming bloody murder? Why are you screaming? Okay, you can go in your crib and suck on your little binky. Here you go. She can play in here and I'll show you guys how I make the spaghetti squash. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. So when you take it out of the oven, it should look something like this. And you take a fork. It's still kind of hot. But you just scrape it like that. And you'll see it. You'll see the little noodle shapes like that. And just scrape it all until you're done. So I finished one of them and this is what it looks like. And for the sauce, I just chopped up some onions, mushrooms, and put in ground turkey and used this tomato basil pasta sauce. Hi. And Justin is back from school. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Wow. 
Wow, good job. <laughs> and this is the final product. Do you approve, Leah? If Leah likes it, then it's good. But I can't tell. Oh, oh, she wants she more. Wants more. <laughs> Let's see. I look like a hot mess. Very hot. <laughs> go, go, go. I think this tastes better than the last time I made it. I didn't taste it yet. Like you can't stop eating it. She just wants more and mm. more. Yummy? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You guys should definitely try out the toast I made for breakfast today and the spaghetti squash pasta that I made for dinner. And there is no better way to end the night than to watch a Clippers game. He has a dental interview tomorrow, so everybody wish him luck. Uh. He's gonna do awesome. Thank you guys! so much for watching don't forget to like the video and to subscribe if you're new 